Hi guys, welcome to the Ministry of Food. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to make a, a lovely stir fry, chicken chow mein, uh, something we've all heard about. A lot of people have it on the high street. I've broken it down. I want to show you how to make your own homemade version with lovely fresh ingredients in it. Uh, I'm going to use half decent chicken, half decent lovely chicken. Uh, I'm going to cut that into strips. I've got noodles, a little corn flour to thicken. I've got bok choy. This is a type of cabbage, and if you can't find it, you can use a regular white or savoy cabbage. Uh, I've got some shiitake mushrooms. You can get these in the supermarkets, but again, you could use button mushrooms if you wanted to. And then in the tin, we've got water chestnuts. If you never tried them, they're crunchy, they're fresh, uh, and, they, and you know, it's just a nice contrast to all this in a stir fry. Now, I've got some boiling water cooking here. I've got a wok here. Wok, you could do it in a very large frying pan, absolutely, but woks obviously have that nice shape so you can be tossing it uh, and, and it cooks really quick. First things first, put that wok or, or large pan on a high heat, really ferociously high, preheat it for like four minutes, get it screaming hot. That's what stir frying is all about. So, fan on, windows open. Now, every stir fry I can think of starts with a fragrant sort of base. So we've got coriander. You can get this in supermarkets. Simply rip this off. This can go in towards the end. These stalks, nothing wrong with them. You've given it a wash. We're going to finely slice these. Then you've got spring onions. You could use white onion, but the spring onions are a bit lighter. We're going to slice that up as well. And then we've got chilli for that fiery heat. Uh, put as much or as little as you like, but you kind of want it in there because it's a stir fry. Then you've got garlic that's going to bring it all together. And ginger, nice and juicy, lovely. So, to start off with, let's get the coriander and the spring onions and just rock your knife over like this. If your knife skills are terrible, then just, just take your time, just do it, there's no rush. Once you get the hang of this, you should be able to knock out this kind of stir fry in at least 15 to 20 minutes. So I want to push this to the end, like that. And then we've got the chilli. Do exactly the same. So I'm going to slice that up like that. The ginger, cut the ends off. Cut the sides off. And then you'll have this bit left, just, you know, with a peeler or a knife, if you're good enough with it. Just take this skin off. Wonderful flavour of this. Really good for you as well. So it's a thumb-sized piece of ginger for about two portions. You can cut the ginger in half, and then we can finely slice it. And take your time, no rush. So slice up the old garlic. This is where your time's going to go, because cooking happens in about a minute and a half, two minutes. OK. So first things first, get your base ready. Then there's the chicken. Now, I've bought free-range chicken here, but you can get some RSPCA Freedom Food chicken. Um, you can get it, you know, for a reasonable price. Um, the truth is, actually, you don't even really need a big chicken breast per person, um, because once you've sliced it up and you've got it amongst all the vegetables and stuff like that, you know, a little goes a long way. I'm going to give you a breast per person here. Just use your knife to slice the chicken up. Like this. So I've sliced up the two chicken breasts. So wok, very, very hot. I've got my water here. I've got my noodles. I put my noodles in first. I'm going to put the oil, just a couple of tablespoons, into a pan. Now you've got to get really on it, concentrate, and we're going to be cooking. So first of all, get your chicken to go straight in. You can hear that it's really hot. Use a spoon and move the chicken around. We're going to go straight in after about 30 seconds with the fragrant base. Ginger, chilli, garlic, coriander salt. You can see we've already got colour on the chicken. And how quick is that? And the colours are so lovely that it's easy. Bok choy. Dead simple. Cut it in half. Cut the halves into quarters. Chuck it in the water with your noodles. Move the noodles around so they're not all sticking together. We're about a minute away from finishing this dish. You can see you've got good colour. That's why you need the heat high. It's that scalding heat that's going to make this. That chicken is almost cooked. I'm going to go in with 
some whole mushrooms, you can cut them in half if you want. Now, you don't have to do this, right? Some people don't like it, some people love it because they're used to it. But um, corn flour, right? Corn flour, nothing wrong with it at all. It's just corn flour. One teaspoon here, just scattered over the top like this. One heat teaspoon in there, and then just toss it about like this, or stir it around. What that's going to do is thicken it, so it's not just water and noodles. It's more of a, a silky broth than anything else. Straight in with the chestnuts and the water that it comes in. Nothing wrong with that at all. And basically that chicken's cooked now. And all I'm going to do is get some tongs, or you could drain this, and I'm literally going to pull the noodles from here and the bok choy into here. And I want to use some of this water. So use your tongs or your spoon to mix this around. You can see that cornflour just made it go silky. Can you see how it's gone thick in there? Lovely. Right. Have a little taste. Right. There's been no salt in that, so I'm going to put soy sauce in about one and a half tablespoons, and that's got flavour and seasoning. We've got lime. Right, so we've got heat from the chilli, great. Salt from the soy sauce. And then I want to get a bit of lime action. Squeeze some lime in there. There you go. And then turn it off. Job done. So we'll move this around. What you've got there is lovely noodles. They're not cooked to hell, they've only cooked for two minutes. The bok choy, that hasn't been cooked to hell. Now it's got lovely green colour. just time to serve it up now. Use your tongs, or if you haven't got tongs, a couple of uh, forks together will work pretty well. Move it over like this. And just make sure each plate gets a little bit of everything. If you cook that for one of your mates or your partner, they'll be well over the moon with that. It will taste, I'm sure it's going to taste a damn sight better than anything you've bought in your average high street takeaway, especially by the time you got it home and it's been sitting there and all that sort of stuff. Little wedge of lime, and there you go. A beautiful chicken chow mein. Nothing wrong with that at all. Well chuffed. So there you go, guys. I can promise you, once you've done a stir-fry a couple of times, you'll really get the hang of it. You won't believe how easy it is. It involves a little bit of assembly, but when you get cooking, it's dead cool, dead exciting, and you just will not believe the flavours. And if you're passing it on at home or in the workplace, good luck.